Hey y'all, I uh, want to give you an update on my Tang Nano VDP, the 20K this time, right? Can you see here? Uh, yeah, uh, I've been working on it, porting the 9958 core and trying to use the full potential of this board to use the SD run. And I succeeded to, to access it, so let's just give a shot here as you can see it's an msx one i did not change any rom i just replaced my 9918 by the 9958 in implemented in fpga using this board and one adapter that goes straight to the socket and now it's as you can see the game is running it means that it's using the 128k of vira uh the output is hmi as the other tn vdps right it's native hmi with audio and and well see by yourself the the, the ntsc games are working uh i tried the mambo 2 which is a pow game and that game doesn't work the timings are all wrong and also it uses um, interleave and interleave is broken in my implementation here because I do HMI straight from the FPGA using this HMI sync here so yeah I need to fix that need to find a way to fix the interleave and uh, together the PAL by itself works but not the interleave mode but also that game is very very timing specific one thing that this FPGA does not have is the same as the uh, normal ic uh, is the timing the timing is a bit different and it needs to be fixed in, in code uh, the only way is testing and measure and uh, i was having an initial problem with the vdp command the ones that transfer memory from vram to vram straight transfer from the vdp and i was getting uh missed pixels and all kind of missing bytes so i finally solved the times there it was too fast it was running too fast for the sd run the internal sd run here is running at 108 uh, megahertz and um, the core itself runs at 27 megahertz it runs uh, uh, faster than the normal vdp uh, i need to run this because of the, the hmi output uh, I cannot sync those videos. Uh, the, the synchronous will not work if we have uh, different clocks. It, it's not about double buffering it, or uh, I, I don't have enough memory to implement an um, anti frame buffer. So, since there is a difference in lines produced by the VDP and the the, the agmi uh, i i had to fix the same clock it's using 400 uh 520 sorry is the uh 525p and 625p for for paul so as you can see this game runs i'll show another game let's play a last oh sorry let's run sofa run from my SD card so I can run different games that one was was written in a cartridge in a flash cartridge uh, not all msx2 games work few games actually work ls and space mambo are one of them uh, if the game uses anything from the sub rom from the msx bios msx2 bios the game will not work but these two games they just run straight they have this its own uh 
proteins in a sample, uh, so they they don't use anything from the from the BIOS from MSX2, so it just works straight. And yeah, this intro is too long. Let's just skip it. It's asking for disk two. Disk three. This game is relentless. I'm forgiven. And it's awesome. No. Dead again. I'll show another the other Alast, which is interesting that it has the intro in the 256 color mode. So uh, it died here, you see, you still have bugs. Uh, the VDP just crashed. It's all about time and uh, I have a lot of things to fix yet. This is the last one game. This intro is cool. And this game would not work if it wasn't by 120k. And the graphics are amazing. There you go. Working nice. Start looking good. Native HMI. First, dropping 9918 to 158 in full 120k, a call a K of VRAM. So you can just use as an msx2 plus you just need to replace the 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 the, the rom and sub rom and you get a working msx2 from an msx1 machine or any any other computer that use 9918 you can use this or use the dang nano 9k version 2 Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Had a long video, but see you.